the boss man wanted some help with Excel. Let's see what he's up to. So we have all these leads and he wanted to have all the data in one column. So this is what he was doing. Select the first column, copy paste it here, then select the second column, copy paste it underneath and continue that process. So I introduced this amazing formula to him instead. Just go here and then type to call, which is a new Excel function. Select this entire range and then for ignore, because there are some blanks, just select one as the option and boom, all the data is in one column. We also have this data and he wanted to see the branch name repeated in all these cells. And this is what he was doing. Copy the branch, paste it, copy again, paste it. So I told him this amazing trick instead. Just select this entire column, press F5 and click on the special and select blanks. When you click OK, Excel is going to highlight all the blank cells in that column. Now all of these blank cells should take the value from the cell above. So press equal to and using the up arrow point to the cell above and press control enter. Boom, we'll get the branch names repeated all the way through. We have this sales report and my boss wanted to see the running total here. And this is what he was doing. He would say here and then this and like that. So I introduced this new functionality in Excel. Just select this entire column and using this quick analysis button here, go to totals and then select running total option here. It's going to introduce the necessary formula to calculate all the running totals for your data in one go. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. In the same sales report, my boss wanted to know how to see the top 10 values and this is what he was doing scan through the list and kind of identify the top values by eyeballing it. I then told him this amazing option. Using Ctrl Shift L, first apply the filters and then click on this button on total sales, go to number filters, top 10. And when you click OK, you're gonna see just the top 10 items. At this point he said, I don't want to just see the top 10, I want to highlight them in a different color. So I then told him to clear the filters first, select the total sales column again and from the home ribbon go to conditional formatting top bottom rules and select the top 10 items. When you click OK, all the top 10 items will be highlighted. Now you can visually see where those values are as well as you can also quickly filter them by going to the filter again and using the filter by color option. How awesome is this? And then I saw him do something crazy. He was enjoying a YouTube video but not giving it a like. Don't be like him. Like this video if you are enjoying it. We have this data set that comes to us every month from the Salesforce system. And he wanted to see the full data so this is what he was doing, individually resizing the columns. I told him just select the entire thing and place the cursor anywhere between the columns and double click. Excel will automatically resize all the columns. That is awesome. We also have this monthly sales report format and this is what he was doing to manually format everything. Apply the formats one at a time and he wanted to do the same for all of these things and he was going to apply the same steps again by going to each cell and applying those formats. Then I told him this amazing trick. Select the first month and then from the home ribbon double tap on the format painter. This locks the format painter mode. Now select the second, third and fourth month and all of them will have consistently same formatting. When you are done, hit escape to get out of the format painter mode. While this report does look good, he wanted to add grand totals at the bottom and he was going to go and write the sum formulas for each column individually. I then told him about this other amazing trick. Just select all of these cells. You can hold down control to multi-select and then press Alt equal to to instantly add the sum function across all of these values. Awesome. Yes. For the upcoming board meeting, he prepared this amazing chart, but he had one problem. He didn't like the labels to have such great detail. So he wanted to round this up to the thousands but not really sure how to do that. So I told him this technique, select the labels, 
press control one to open the format data labels option and then use the number option here and then type the format code dollar hash comma and then within double quotes k this will take the value that you have as the label but round it up to the nearest thousand and then show that with k at the end he used that technique to prepare these three graphs for the q1 sales report but then he realized that the spacing was inconsistent and he was going to go and manually adjust the positioning of all of these charts i then told him this trick just select all of these charts and then go to shape format in powerpoint and use the alignment options to align everything to the same midpoint and then go back to align again and distribute them horizontally so that the spacing is even that looks pretty hearing about all these tricks and shortcuts got him really excited and he wanted to know what other shortcuts are out there so then i told him to watch this video to learn about the important excel keyboard shortcuts